welcome back to my channel i hope everyone is having a great day in today's episode we'll be doing a classic guyanese dish from start to finish we'll be fixing up a delicious fried corail with smoked herring and dal so delicious to get started here i have the corail already chopped and i'll be using some smoked herring you could also use any kind of salted fish for this recipe i have green onions cilantro i'll be using uh, tomatoes onions garlic some chilies i have complete seasoning black pepper mushroom seasoning seasoned salt and some bouillon so let's prepare the doll first i already soaked my split peas for about six hours i have two cups of split peas here and i'll be using some onions garlic i have some more garlic and some whole jeera better known as cumin i have some green onions some fresh chilies chopped i have green seasoning mushroom seasoning complete seasoning seasoned salt black pepper and over here i have some uh, ground jeera and some curry powder and turmeric let's jump into this recipe i'm so excited so to my Dutch oven, I did add about 10 cups of water. And now we will add the split peas. And here we will add all the ingredients except, you know, that garlic that we chopped along with the whole jeera. We'll leave that for last as well as our green onions. But all the rest of the ingredients, we'll add it in here, give it a good mix. And we will cover and allow this to cook until our peas is nice and tender. Tender to where it is mushy. So after about 30 minutes, we are now giving this a check and the peas is nice and tender. Most of it is mushy and mashed up as you can see. It is forming like a soup-like consistency in there, but that's not what I like. So I'm going to go in with my hand blender or my immersion blender and I will blend this until it is nice and smooth. You know, once it gets nice and smooth, we will add the green onions in here. And once we add the green onions, we will then go and chunky our dal. To chunky the dal, you need to add some oil to a separate pan, or if you wanna use a little, if you have a little that is metal, you can add your oil in there. But I will be using um, a small frying pan. And we will add our garlic and our whole jeer in there and allow it to toast until it is nice and brown once those garlic look nice and brown you don't want it to burn you just want it to look nice and brown we will go ahead and dump it into the doll and that's it guys look how yummy gorgeous and just delicious this doll look if you're Guyanese this should make your mouth water right now honestly now let's move on to the next so here I've added my smoked herring to a pot of water. I did wash the smoked herring thoroughly before adding it. And we will boil this for about 10 to 15 minutes. Drain that water and boil it again for another 10 to 15 minutes. In a preheated pot, I've added some oil, enough oil to fry my corail really well. Now I will add the onions, the tomatoes, I will add the garlic and the chilies. We'll allow them to go for about three to four minutes. Next, we'll add our corail in here along with our seasonings. We'll give it a real good mix and we will allow it to, you know, kind of simmer on medium high heat. We will not cover it because we don't want it to create any moisture. So you wanna leave it uncovered and just allow it to fry. And every five minutes, we will give it a stir to make sure that it's being cooked evenly on all sides. Now, I don't like my corailla squeezed out and salt and all that stuff that people do to corailla. I don't like that stuff. I like the natural, I like it bitter. So that's why you don't see me doing all that stuff that people do to it. I usually would buy fresh corailla and blend it, add some lemon juice and a pinch of salt, and I would put it in a mug and have it in my fridge and I would drink like a, a shot glass every day. That's how I like my corailla. I love the bitterness. It has a lot of benefits 
guys and it's really really good for your immune system and like i said guys every five minutes you want to go in and just stir this mix it up make sure that it's not burning at the bottom and you want to make sure that it's being cooked evenly So at this point, the Corilla should be almost done. If you look at it, you can tell that it is cooked. The color has changed and everything. So now you want to add that smoked herring in here or your salt fish or whatever you're adding. You want to add it in. We'll also add our green onions and cilantro. Give it a good mix and we'll allow it to go for another 10 to 15 minutes. By then, it should cook thoroughly the way that I like it. Everyone likes their corral cook different. I want mine fried nice and dry today because I'm eating it with dal and it should be perfectly cooked in 10 to 15 minutes. And this is it guys. The fried corral with smoked herring is now done. This is the way I like mine. It is perfect and I can't wait to dig in. So let me just turn this heat off and plate up. And here you have it guys, one of my absolute favorite Chinese dishes. Fried corail with smoked herring, dal, and some hot white rice. You know I couldn't forget the pepper sauce. You know, we have to have that pepper sauce on the side. So there it is. I hope you guys give this recipe a try. If you enjoy my video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all my ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.